knew that Buffalo wasn't going to take the floor. Pittsburgh wasn't. Maybe they were afraid of somebody else, but uh, they do get a good football player. Look for 6'7", as I said, 280 pounds, an extension of your offensive line. He wasn't really utilized at LSU like you would expect because the quarterback play was so questionable. Well, I think when Jacksonville didn't take the floor, that's what's triggered this whole thing. Right. No I think question. that's when the move no made. Uh, that, that's the way the whole thing went. Well, I mean, if it doesn't work there, he can even be a tackle, although uh, the coach got freed. I mean, for a guy that size, well, I heard the name Dave Casper thrown around when uh, one of the scouts was telling me about LaFleur, and if, they're, if that name is in the same sentence, then LaFleur must be a pretty good ball player. Well, Mike, he's got, he's got almost tackle size. He'd be the best catching tackle in the history of football. What about him as a tight end, though? Do big tight ends like him succeed that often? Well, they're, they're a question mark, but when you look at David LaFleur, Chris is right. There are a lot of people that think maybe he can be a left tackle also, but let's take a look at him as a tight end for LSU. You get a player on the in line of scrimmage, he's not a move guy. He's not going to move around a lot. Releases off the line of scrimmage, handover, a big target for your quarterback, big powerful target. He has versatility. You're going to see on this play, Chris, where a football player, he falls down, He's down right now, gets right back off the ground, so he's an athlete. He's able to, to get back up. He's a position blocker. When you're six foot seven, you block the vision of the defender. When you're blocking a toss sweep or you're turning out on an outside linebacker, you hurt the vision of the defensive lineman, too. But so that means Freddie Jones from North Carolina.